that's well, see, I had a request for a seminar in England just recently. They wanted to know if I'd read Cornelius Van Til and whether I was an evidentialist or a presuppositionalist. Oh, wow. And Randall wrote and said, I've never heard of Cornelius Van Til, because Randall is a fair Armenian evidentialist. <laughs> and, uh, anyway. He works for you? Well, or Randall organizes the ministry. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, he's a he's soft sell, but anyway, I wrote back and said, yes, I've read all of Van Til. And uh, I'm convinced there's enough evidence to persuade me to be a presuppositionalist. <laughs> <laughs> that was your response? I mean, I mean, oh, gosh. That's pretty good. Because uh, it's a ridiculous <laughs> claim if you just want to say we only function on presupposition. That right. is inaccurate. Because you don't it's, know they exist until you, somebody puts an argument up. So basically, you know, you, you're quite right. It's being caught on, but because it's got a newness about it, it's as old as the hills. The conflict right. between evidentialism and presuppositionalism. Yeah. Uh, it's both, isn't it? I mean, how can you... It can't be anything but. I mean, Romans right. 1 says the evidence is clearly seen. Right? And it says everybody knows. Everybody knows. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's why the old theologians were in, invoked a concept called common grace, so that God's Spirit has left enough stuff around we can all see it. But all that does is convict us. Mm -hmm. The heavens declare the glory of God. Oh, no, that's yeah. God. You know? <laughs> no. So that, that's say, that part. One thing that does get me with the whole presuppositional stuff, I don't see how it actually proves that the Bible is true. I see how it proves that God exists, but as far as the Bible, I mean, then you have to get into evidence to say, well, we can tr trust this manuscript. No, they would, they would say, no, we know it's true because without it, you couldn't make sense of your question or you yeah, couldn't make sense of your statement. Yes, you end up, see, it's in, a, in one sense, all logic is cyclical. The question is whether the, your starting point is real. Yeah. Right, so that if you are a rank evidentialist, what you've really just said is, I am the starting point. Correct. Just like the atheist. Yeah, that's right. Whereas if you're a rank presuppositionalist, you've said, God is the starting point, and he has revealed everything I need to know, and I'll assume that is the scriptures. It's just I come across a lot of theists who reject the Bible, and I say, well... Because I, I try and go presuppositional on them, and they're like, yeah, but I believe in God, but how do no, you, you, you missed one question. Which God do you believe in? Right. If it's not the God of the Bible, it's not a God. It's an idol, according to the Bible. See, like, no, All other gods you, are idols. You laugh at this. The guy I debated was a philosophy professor with a background in biology, and he started his debate by saying, and for the purposes of this debate, I will suppose there is a God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the debate is about. Yeah, yeah. So he lost in his opening it, statement. Yeah, that's right. Weird. Wow. So did so you I, stand up and say, thank you? <laughs> it's well, been I, a great I, debate. I, I just had to tell him, you know, which God have you created? Is it one made in your image? Mm. <laughs> which God are we talking about here? Because I know which God I'm talking about. And then what? I finished off in the online debate saying, when you presuppose there was a God, neither the real God nor his servant, me, was impressed. Wow. <laughs> You really do have to define your terms you for do. a lot of people. Really That's do. a big part and of it, isn't it? It's a big weakness of modern theism. They're it's not so defining. It's undefined. It's comfortable because you haven't defined anything. Mm -hmm. I know when people ask me, or I get a debate, they say, why do you believe the Bible? I say, or when they always say, uh, it's your opinion, I say, no, it's not, it's the truth. And I say, how do you know that? Uh, but my answer is simply, the Spirit of God revealed it to me. Well, there's a truth in that. And that that's the ultimate truth. And that, yeah. that's why I say, I mean, First uh, Corinthians chapter chapter 2. Like it's Can I suggest at that point you open up at John 14 and say, here, read about it, where Jesus said, I must go, because if I don't go, the Spirit can't come, whom the world cannot see, nor can it receive. Okay, but I'll, you I'll will see that. him and you because know him. That's always my answer to people, and that yeah. is, I, I can't give a pretend answer just, that's right. just for the sake of debate. Well, it's a so right say, answer, but it doesn't correct. communicate. And, and so they say, well, that doesn't mean anything to me. I that's say, right. I know it doesn't. That doesn't prove anything to and you. you should, it proves it to me. Said, and that is the proof the Bible is true here. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that that's the big thing, is presuppositionalist. The more I study presuppositionalism, the more I realize it, it gives me a love for the scripture. Mm -hmm. It gives me a love for... God has revealed. Yeah, yeah. so oh, let's dig into that. Let's mm -hmm. study that. Let's know that. Um, and really what presupposition and evidentialism, both of them, if used properly, should magnify the God of the creation, not just mm -hmm. the creation, mm -hmm. if done properly. And that's another thing I think a lot of creationists are doing. They're, I've seen so many things that are powerful, and it's like, wow, 
And all they do is they're exalting the creation and they never That's really point right. to the creator. That's exactly right. Yeah. They're yeah. one step from the problem or the solution. Yeah. Yeah. In our fast-paced, ever-changing world, you need solid information that you can trust. Creation Today answers your questions about science and creation from a biblical perspective. Hosts Eric Hoven and Paul Taylor present an energetic, informative program focusing on the truth of Scripture as a foundation for all of science. Tune in each week as we discuss what's going on in Creation Today and why it matters to you. Watch us online at creationtoday.org.